Good afternoon everyone and today I'm in Wexford town and a place like this will surely present loads of photo opportunities particularly at night you just have to look out for them we're now in the month of December so the Christmas decorations will be waiting to have images taken of them also there's a railway line running down the quay with trains passing on this track behind me here down to Rosslare from Wexford railway station we'll be trying light trail shots of these trains when the sun goes down I'm sure other photo opportunities will present themselves while we're here. I had planned shooting for this video back in March last year before the clocks went forward near the end of March, but then the pandemic started tightening its grip and eventually the country was put into what turned out to be the first of several nationwide lockdowns. I've looked at the timetables and apparently there'll be two trains passing the quay after dark. It'll be starting to get dark around half four and after that the first train passing will be coming up from Rosslare at about 20 past six and then the other one will be heading down to Rosslare at about 10 past nine. The trains would normally be travelling at about walking speed along the quay, say up to 10 kilometres an hour, but once they pass this point heading for Rosslare, they won't be long about picking up speed. The train set you see here is Irish Rail's 29,000 class of DMU, or diesel multiple unit, usually comprising of four cars. A 22,000 class train set is used on some services. There's a reason the trains don't go any faster than walking speed through the quay, and that is in case someone who is wired to the moon, not paying much attention to what's around them, walks out onto the track in front of the train, in which case the train usually takes several metres to stop, even from walking speed.
This isn't the first time I came here for night photography. I was here in late 2012 and at that time the only lenses I had were the kit lens and telephoto lens. I since got a wide angle lens so it was inter interesting to see what kind of images I'd get using that lens. The last train has passed, it's now completely dark, not that it matters as much in the town as it would be out in the country. I decided to get a few more light trail images of traffic going over the bridge and also of the Christmas lighting. Here's where I'm going to end this video. You should head over to my Flickr page where you'll see plenty of images I've taken down the years falling into what you could call a mixed bag of genres. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch and hopefully I'll see you all again in the next one.